I literally clicked on the wrong thing. Hi! <laughs> so, <laughs> my necklace snapped. I fixed it, but I don't know where the charm is. So I have to do that after stream. Uh, I also might be getting food. I haven't got a message from the mother asking. Uh, but yes, welcome to Genshin Impact. Why? Because this game has a fucking chokehold on me and it's become my comfort game. Or until the game tells me to fuck off. But yeah. I don't know what the plan I have for tomorrow. It is so loud in my ear. As my phone starts going off. I played a little bit uh, off stream this morning because I was just like, let me be an adventurous uh, bitch. That costs me greatly. Yeah. Welcome! I don't know why my voice went like that. Is the dog out here? Fuck it off. I want the dog. I also missed the entire dialogue for this. Uh, because I literally went 
to go do other things like what she was talking about. The fireworks about. show is almost upon us, and the fireworks for each family are almost ready. Oh, new faces? Who are these two? Friends or customers? Both. A bit of both, actually. They arrived in Inazuma so, just recently. Can't so let them miss out on the fireworks show after coming all this way, can we? <laughs> well, either way, come on in and have a seat. And I, Naganahara Rienosuke, will tell you all about the long history of the Naganaharas. That can wait. Pops, I need to ask you about something. Damn. Ah, <sighs> a long, long time ago. I love him. Uh, Pops has started telling his stories again. Don't. Sorry well, about this, uh, ever since burn, Pops had his accident, his ears line. don't work too well. Oh yeah, that tends to happen when you work with, like, fireworks. Really? But for a moment Beautiful there, it almost seemed like you were having a coherent conversation. Hmm. Much, much later, people eventually realized I don't even know where the fuck I got this waterfall. materials into dust, they burn with many beautiful colors. Pops, Pops, wait! Huh? What? What's that? Did they deliver those firework materials that we ordered yet? Oh, no. Oh! Yesterday's fireworks have all been delivered. So have the ones from the day before yesterday. And the ones from the day before that. No, Pops. I meant the materials. The materials that we ordered. They should have arrived today. I was like, why does this piece of hair oh, feel weird? It's literally because it still has dye on it. Too. Don't you worry. <laughs> Your old man's skills are still as sharp as ever. just added more green to the ex no, Pops, existing the color. No, the materials! The raw materials for making fireworks! This raw material? Sorry? <laughs> materials! <laughs> oh! Oh! I almost fell. The materials! The chair literally moved. Yes! Yes! The materials! Sorry! Sorry! Paimon got all excited because he finally got the message across. I can hear the wind. <laughs> <laughs> the materials aren't here yet. The couriers did come over to explain why, but... Well, I think they did, but I couldn't quite hear what they were saying. No worries. As long as we know, that's fine. Hmm. We can just make them later. Oh, uh, don't forget to take the goods in when they deliver them. Okay, Pops? Of course. Leave it to me. Oh, sorry if we were a little loud. It's always the way, though. It's like that every time I need to ask Pop something. Still seem like a friendly oh, person. That's my Pops. He's a good person, all right. Everyone around here respects him. Because my Pops is deaf, he never argues with anyone and never contradicts them. He just listens cheerfully. When I was little, I thought it was because he really understood me and agreed with whatever I had to say. So, I tell my Pops everything. Eventually, I realized that the reason he was like that was that he's deaf. But I still tell him stories every day. Huh? Why would you do that? It just makes me Ryan would be good with this uh, because she knows sign language, language right? because of her anyway, grandfather. More importantly, right now, the fireworks show is right around the corner and the materials still have. I don't know. I just think it's so interesting how all my friends have like little special talents and then there's other you people that like. Is that you? Okay, we're like not as boring, but really don't have like anything like special. Sorry. Hold on. I'm coming over. Raiden and Kaomi come out tomorrow. My bank account is gonna be fucking broke. Heyo. No one's looking. Okay, you can come out now. Uh, come around the side. My fuckers are materialized. <sighs> We're lucky that no one from the Tenryo Commission was around. Otherwise, we'd all be in big trouble. I want to read this email? Hold Sorry, on. Sorry, I guess I was Stop. a little rash. But when I heard you come back, I just... Don't worry, Sakajiro. So far, at least, everything is going according to plan. We're going to look for firework materials. So, Monopoly, unpacking. While we're out, we'll sort out the boat situation for you. As promised. Thank you for all your help. Uh, who are you? He's one of our old customers. He came back to Inazuma from the outside world not long ago. While he was smuggling himself in, the Tenryo Commission found him and put out a warrant for his arrest. An arrest warrant? Shh, keep it down. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention. 
if Sakajiro was caught, there's no knowing what crimes they could charge him with. All we can do is find him a boat and send him out of Inazuma again. Beto! Yeah, we know it's going to be dangerous, but there aren't many other options left. What if the boat capsizes? <sighs> Drowning is really scary. If things are this bad, couldn't you just not come back in the first place? Well... There's something I felt I had to do. But as soon as I got back, I started hearing about all these unbelievable changes. I had made my mind up originally, but now I'm not sure anymore. I didn't want to cause any trouble for Yoimiya or Mr. Ryunosuke, but I'm very grateful to them for taking me in. Hey, no worries. You're more than welcome. Remember what I said? As long as you've got that little piece of paper, you'll always be a valued customer of the Naganoharas. What little piece of paper? A little piece of paper? Yep, the same paper slips as the one I gave to the kids earlier. My mom is literally home. That's Whenever fun. Whenever a customer orders fireworks for a commemorative event, we always include a little paper slip with the goods. Only people from inside my family can understand what's written on it. It's the recipe for the fireworks they ordered. Ah. If someone shows a Naganohara that paper slip, we guarantee we can make the exact same firework as the original one they purchased, whether it's 10 or even 100 years later. So me with Minecraft wow. fireworks. Just give me the that recipe and I so got this awesome. shit. It's a family tradition. All our regular customers know about this. The slip I have is from back when my parents ordered fireworks from Mr. Ryunosuke. Now that I think about it, it must be nearly 20 years ago. <sighs> I would have thought that things would turn out the way they have. It'll be fine. Escaping in a boat is just a last resort for if there's no other way. I'll still try and come up with a different solution, because it'd be much better if you could stay in Inazuma. Whatever their reasons might be, if our customers come to us looking for help, we're not about to leave them high and dry. Thank you. This way, I still have some time to consider my options. All right. Well, let's not stay out here in the open for too long. Hurry up and get back inside. I'll let you know as soon as I have an I'm not tempted to use a All waypoint right. or I'll, like the I'll leave it to you then, I guess. Gonna do that after this. That's gonna be something that's gonna be something I do tomorrow. It's a shame. They still wouldn't give him a permit, even though he was born and raised in Inazuma. Speaking of, you guys only got here recently. How did you manage to get a permit? Even then, we only we bribed a bitch. To some help I'm kidding. from Miss Haragi Chisato of the yeah. Kanjo Commission. Oh, I see. So you had big shots helping you. I guess that won't be of much help to Sakajiro. Uh, I just wish the commissions could be a little bit more flexible. I bet nowhere else you've been is quite like Inazuma, huh? <sighs> well, Each Archon. No, but <laughs> I have to find a way to help him. You got one that just vibes, one that's Sorry, retired, and one of them who's literally vibing in an eternity. Yes, I know her story because I looked it errands. up. You don't have to join me if you don't want to. I can go sort out the firework materials and the- Oh, cool. I want to learn how fireworks are made. let's start with Sakajiro's boat. We can chat along the way. I want to learn how the fuck fireworks are made. Oh, yeah. Um, if it's fine with you, can I ask how you two first met? She saved me from drowning this one time. And after that, we started traveling together. I did? Why do you ask? Nothing. Just pretty privileged. Pretty privilege. My pops had a person like you around. His being deaf wouldn't hold things up all the time. Uh, 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 why do you look so excited? I'm on. Don't even fucking think about it. Because, because you said person and not floating child or mascot. <laughs> At least. No, Kobe Paimon's emergency here. food. Paimon is emergency food. Along? Yeah, it's uh, all right, I guess. Um, I was questioned, though. Wait, wait, should we really be talking about this in front of them? Oh, don't worry. They're my friends. You can trust them. They came with me to check up on the boat. Yeah, you could say we're all in the same boat here. Pleasure to meet oh, you. I, see. I hate that. Sorry. I didn't mean to doubt you. I'm just being cautious. The boat is ready, but I'll have to be discreet moving it here. Huh? Why is that? 
Because of the Sokoku decree, the Tenryo Commission is really suspicious of any kind of seaborne vessel. Even the smallest ones, they'll stop and interrogate us, demanding to know what we plan on doing with it. It's a real nuisance. I understand. I'm sorry for dragging you into this mess. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm actually happy you came to me for help. I've always come to you for fireworks, and again this time. So just consider this my way of saying thank you. Sorry, I had to read an email. I'll go fetch the boat now. Speaking I of school, I had to look at an email. Thank you. Oh, if it's on the way, you can always pick up your fireworks from my house. Everything was made in strict accordance with what was on the paper slip. You won't find the slightest thing wrong with them. All right, then. The fireworks show will be starting soon, won't it? Oh, actually, I have an idea tomorrow. You should make sure your new friends get to see it. It's an Inazuma tradition, after all. Yep, that's the plan. Oh, you know what? You should tell them about your past. About the first time you ordered fireworks for my family. That's a long story, I can actually. do. I can do pulling uh, for Raiden. And Kokomi uh, tomorrow, oh, and then the, because I I'll still have not watched after the, the, boat here. the final manhunt. Oh, right, yeah. Because uh, I was so busy that day, but I had in the background. There. Okay, well, I'll uh, get to it for my now and to meet that. you back here later. <laughs> Lucky you so reminded me. Tomorrow Otherwise, for I would have ended up chatting the rest of the day away. <laughs> Ugh, I've been so busy with the fireworks business these past few days that I haven't had a moment to stop and chat with anyone. Oh, it's killing me. Of course, Pops is happy to listen to me chatter away, but because he can hardly hear anything, it's difficult to get an interesting reaction from him. And I'm doing it again, aren't I? Ugh. What I meant to say was, while Kalichi is bringing the boat here, we should try to find some firework materials. I need to make fireworks I feel like most of the fireworks for you guys, but for those kids and Sakaju, it'll be fine. Don't worry, we got this. It's actually like this every year. There's always a bunch of extra orders to slot in here and there. I do like her outfit, though. When people want fireworks, it's always because they have something to commemorate. And if they miss the chance, they might never get another one. So, no matter how busy I am, I'm always happy to take their orders. So, what you're trying like to say is that you enjoy the work? Oh, I do! I really do! Being born into a family of fireworks makers, I feel like since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with watching things go boom! And then seeing all the lights and colors and... Uh, uh, but what I really wanted to say was, uh, don't worry about me. It'll all be fine. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's just that good conversation can be as fleeting as fireworks sometimes, you know? So, when I'm in the mood and I've got a lot to say, <laughs> I just have to get all out there in one go and leave no regrets. Let's head to the city. I think I'll try my luck with some people that I know. Speaking of, I know she's going to the city, but I want to do this because I got a couple more of these and I want to upgrade uh, this as fast as I can. It can get uncomfortable, I guess. Oh, I thought I had a lot more, but okay. Huh. You kind of have a point. We're gonna walk. And we're walking. Cause I like I like Inazuma. Even though it's uh it is like murder murder everything wants to be dead. It's so pretty. Including that fucking hell spawn being over there. Dealing with them. <gasps> there's a fox. Holy shit, there's foxes. Wayward, we found your people. <gasps> and they're not like Minecraft, so they don't run away! Okay, first things first, I want to I wanna Hello. Now. Don't mind me. Right here. Born of yeah. <laughs> Emerge. 
There we go. There we go. I knew he was somewhere. Hey. After a while, it just gets fucking easy. Because I need those for ascension materials. To the city we go. She gets pretty privileges. I just realized mostly all my characters are from different regions, except for Xiao and Ganyu, who are both from UA. UA. Fuck no. Place I don't say because I will fucking say it wrong. Do I want the chest? Do I want the chest? No, I want. Shut the fuck up. Oh god. Nope. <coughs> I know where. I was about to say, I don't know where that, uh. The electro thing and I was like, yes I do. I know exactly where it is. We're going with Noella in case I actually have to fight someone. Uh, so then I can just get heals. My mouse got caught under my keyboard. I'm taking the long way because I like to walk around here. It's just so pretty here. There is Fischl's voice actress. I was like, I know that voice. Ow. Damn, I was like, that dash really fucking proved. Okay. Look for materials in the city. Ow. Hello, Morihiko. How's business these days? <laughs> Yoi Mia, there you are. I thought you might show up. Ha, ah, no need to beat around the bush. You're here for the fireworks materials, I assume. I put a batch aside just for you. Yay. It'll definitely be enough. Huh? Yay! Really? How'd you know? Because a fireworks show is coming up. And that usually means you'll be running all over the place trying to get your hands on some last minute materials. I'm the same way. I'll get materials literally last that. minute for a project. I There's see a few shiny stuff in the book. For, eh? oh, I'm so sorry for bothering you every time. Ah, oh, come on now. You my hair is actually like green like blue, that. but depending on the light, you're gonna I'd get more blue or green. I'd my business go under than turn down one of your requests. What about you two? Are you the ones needing some fireworks made? <laughs> Thank you ever so much. It's no trouble at all, my friend. Ah. <sighs> Once when I had an argument with my son, Yoimiya was the one who came and calmed him down. I'm, I'm assuming Lumi probably has him. more. If it wasn't for Yoimiya, who knows? Options. He probably would have run away by now. Nah, he was never gonna come to that. He's a sensitive kid and he cares a lot about your feelings. It's just he doesn't know how to express it. Maybe if you turn that frown also, I've had this conversation with. He might pretty sure it was ease. fucking V. I had this yeah, like conversation with. I guess I'm probably too serious around him. About being like, oh, why? Because I don't do like some people like say. Because I talked about people. a shit that I liked yesterday. Don't on worry screen. about it. No one's perfect. And if you have any uh, trouble in the future, went, well, just why come do to some me. people like canonize like the the travelers like younger or older or an adult? Always. <laughs> and it comes right down to then. it's the alias that the traveler Everyone's has. Always saying what a good kid because you again, are. your father the arc must be very right before proud of this, you. where you meet your, you see your brother is working with the, the abyss. Way. It's on the house. Um, oh, no, you don't. They That's call whichever question. traveler you see, or if don't you have Aether the Mead, they call them Aether the Mead. Don't worry. Just take it as a token of my gratitude. 
Gratitude won't pay your bills, though. And so it Don't goes into the fact that the traveler is using a alias. Here. I already said it's fine. And so there's some Please, things where it's like you can choose, like, oh yeah, they drink or they sure, don't drink. Sure, you've got a load of other things you need to get done yeah, today. Yeah, some people say that they're younger, um, some people say that they're older. Well, how about this then? I'll record this in my notebook, and we can consider it a down payment against any fireworks you want to purchase in the future. <sighs> there's no convincing you, is there? Absolutely, fucking not. All right then, if you insist, pass on my regards to your dad. Tell him Morihiko wishes him health and happiness. Will do. You look after yourself as well. Don't push yourself too hard. You don't want to make yourself ill again. I've done that. Everyone seems to really like you, Yoimiya. You're not the first person to say that. Aw. In fact, some people think I'll literally do any favor they ask me to. Which I don't think it's true. Happens, I say to them, hey, this is a fireworks store. We do fireworks. But ugh, they don't always listen. Mm. So it can't be helped. But also, it's not really a big deal. Anyway, we've got all the materials we need now, so that solves that problem. Next, we just need to go find someone to process them. Where is the traveler on my list? There she is. Oh, shit. I, I fucking knew it. I was about to say, we haven't met Bennett. Oh. Paimon, you look so serious today. That's because Paimon's thinking about serious things. Paimon's oh, jealous shit. of people from wealthy and influential families. They have an endless supply of mora and mountains of delicious food to eat. God fucking damn it, Paimon. I can't disagree. Those are exactly the things you're fond of. <laughs> but after getting to know Ayaka better, Paimon realized that a young lady from a noble family can also have her share of hardships. She needs to shoulder her clan's duties and responsibilities. She works so hard and has very little time for herself. Ayaka must be exhausted. She should try to relax a bit. Hmm. Ah, that's right. Let's invite Ayaka to the next festival. Is she going oh, to if I would have if I would have done this There's before no the lantern right, refused. we would drag I would drag her yeah, ass to the lantern. I'd like to go night. to another festival with her. Besides, if Ayaka's around, she can hey, pick yo. up the tab for us. <sighs> I should have seen that coming. Again, we have been on a date with Kuching, Lisa, and Ayaka. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I never realized. Uh, Noelle like has like her toe pointed. I just love making this fucking difficult for myself. Hajime, Mr. Aminoma, it's me! <laughs> ah, Yoimiya. If I'm not mistaken, you must be here for some firework materials. Seems like everyone knows how busy Yoimiya gets leading up to the fire. I do like her hairpins, or like the... I'm very sorry. Would you be able to wait for a while? I have quite a backlog of weapons orders right now. No worry, oh... Oh, wait, actually, uh, yeah, that could be a problem, uh, some worries. How about this? Do you need a hand? As long as we can get through your orders, you can help me process my ore, right? Uh, that will depend on my master. Oh, you don't mind, do you, Mr. Aminoma? As you know, it's not long now until the Naginohara fireworks show starts. I can't tell if someone's coming up There's still a lot of fireworks left to make, if I don't finish them on time. Talkative as ever, I see, dear child. Damn. The essence of Amenoma art is patience 
and focus. When the mind is disturbed, it will show in the blade that is forged. If you badger Hajime like this, you will only succeed in disrupting his concentration. But, but this is a special circumstance, surely! The Naganohara fireworks I love show how, is right around the like, corner. She must be, like, a lot of people so who have visions here still must be very well respected. That they can carry around their, like, huh? vision in public. Master, you mean you'll do the work personally? And then not so be, like, it like is, thrown off all, to the vision decree. The only option. Thank you for helping out, Mr. Aminoma. You're quite welcome. The Naganohara fireworks show is an important event. This... I know well. In addition to this, I am indebted to Ryunosuke for all the business he has given me. But Yoimiya, you should plan things more carefully in the future. Do not rush everything at the last minute. <laughs> I'll try my best. Ah. In the future, I'll get some extra materials in to cover any unexpected changes. Candy Fox, thank you so much for the follow. How's your day? How's everything going? Well, I fucking you, jumped. Dear child. No matter how much you prepare in advance, it may never be enough. Excuse me, I will be back shortly. Hi, welcome, friend. Wow, I fucking jumped. Stroma. Just look at the shape and size of these greens. It's beautiful. I'm at a loss for words. It's been a while. Since I was looking at this card, but it looks like your craft hasn't degraded one bit. Of course. I have studied these techniques my whole life. They are impossible for me to forget. Oh my god. <laughs> so have Minima Art and Naganohara Fireworks been working together for a long time already? Seems like it. Back in the day, it was my master and Ryunosuke's father. The people may have changed from one generation Arson. to another. It's fire. But the ingredients required to make fireworks have remained the same. Hajime. In the future, this will be up to you. There's gonna be a compilation of my alert scan the shit out of me. I know it's gonna happen now. I know, now. I know. <laughs> All right, I won't bother you. I just noticed her longer. shoes. What the fuck? Remember to come and watch the fireworks. Okay, time to head off. Koichi probably isn't back just yet, but let's go wait for him. I don't speak English well, but if I know my name is weird. Your name's not weird. Your name, your name is absolutely fine. There's weirder names on Twitch. Yeah, your name is absolutely fine. Oh. <laughs> I love her. Just as I thought, he isn't back yet. But not to worry, because actually, I've been hoping for a chance to have a nice long chat with you all day. Oh, goodness. Sorry for dragging you with me everywhere. Everyone's been so good to me, though. It's all going really smoothly. <laughs> <sighs> Feels like Paimon has barely spoken a word this whole trip. It's nice just to listen sometimes. Emergency food. So, I wanted to find an opportunity to catch up. When we first met, I was Oh my god, Gucci is Paimon. I didn't have a chance to sit down and have a proper chat. You guys are travelers, right? So, Thanks. where else did you go before coming to Inazuma? Uh, Monster, the city. Food. Ooh, sounds great. I heard they pretty much have no rules over there, right? So people are free to live their life whoever they want. Unless your name is Amber so and you have a wind glider. My pops actually received a gift from one of his old customers over there. It was from the winery or something. Do you like winery? Gun winery! Their dandelion wine is super famous. Yes, that's the one. I remember when he drank it. <laughs> I've never seen him enjoy a bottle of wine so much in his life. Again, I like Monstat. He was telling me all night about how good it tasted. My friend once said to me that only people with a strong will and a clear purpose decide to go traveling. Maybe it's to see a certain view or to fulfill a certain wish. So, what made you guys embark on your treacherous journey to Inazuma? I'm looking for my and brother. I'm looking for answers from the god too. You were separated from your family because of a god? Oh. That must be really tough. Thank you, thank you. 
I get it. Well, if that's how it is, they they're draining my wallet slowly. Um, but you know, I was going to ask. It's also just like saving up here in Inazuma. Unlike the outside world, what Inazuma seeks is eternity. In other words, a state of tranquility. As much as I like this nation, I want the fuck out. <laughs> the advantage of that is that if you're ever tired from your journey, Inazuma is a great place to come and rest. That is, true. I do like um, really like Inazuma. Uh, let me put it this way. But it's not like the I ideal just place I want to stay. You might be getting weary. If you keep pressing on in that state, you might start to lose sight of. Because I forgot which nation comes after this. In the first place. <sighs> Sometimes. Oh, on, that's also just how it is. When you're exhausted, everything becomes an uphill struggle. Even trying to have fun. You won't be able to enjoy yourself if you're too tired. An adventure friend of mine once told me that if you're too focused on reaching the end of the race, you'll miss a lot of opportunities and precious moments to be had along the way. Okay, the traveler actually needs to hear this. Don't worry though, I'm sure I can think of some way to get you feeling relaxed and happy. And you're here now, so even if you're gonna leave eventually, I want to make sure you at least leave with fond memories. Who knows? Once you're reunited with your family, maybe you'll find Inazuma the right kind of place to call home. Oh, well, add <laughs> I that already to have the an list. idea of the color and type of fireworks I want to give you guys. I'll keep it a secret <laughs> for now, though. Yoimiya, I'm back. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head over to the boat. Or, uh, did you want to keep chatting a little longer? We just finished. Oh, good. Funny enough. Let's go then. Just act naturally, though. We don't want to raise any suspicion. We don't want to raise suspicion. We have a floating fairy and the traveler doesn't look from this world. Right? Absolutely. Rest assured that the quality but again, is I have a guaranteed. Fox. <laughs> again, we, we have, we have, we have Yamigo. You know, the one person that's the least suspicious. You don't see me here, Noella, so I can heal. Cause I feel like we're about to have to fight someone. Yeah, this feels this feels too easy. That's way too small. It's technically sturdy. Helped, I'm afraid. This is the biggest and sturdiest boat that I can provide. It's built from the finest Inazuman timber. Still, I'll be the first to admit that if he's planning to ride this into the storm, it's going to be exceedingly dangerous. I'm also hoping Sakajiro won't have to use it. It's All just right, so that his last resort. So. I gotta say though, Koichi, it feels like your craft has improved once again. <laughs> I'm not the one you should be praising. It's all thanks to the guys who kindly pitched in. To avoid detection, we each worked on our own materials separately, then assembled them secretly in the night. Huh. This is the largest we could afford to build. Any bigger, and there's no way it would pass the Tenryo Commission's inspection. Oh, shit. Let's store the boat here for now, then. I'll fill Sakajiro in when I get back. The boat's Let's gonna get fucking stolen, I'm calling it. Sale. Maybe it does, but I knew what I was getting into from the moment I agreed to help him. My family has pretty way. good connections with the Yashiro Commission. We work very closely with them, and whenever there's a national event of any sort, the other two commissions come to us too. As long as I'm polite and respectful and don't cause a fuss, they won't look to cause trouble for me either. And anyway, to your point about collaboration, you've been helping out too, right? That's true. This was all a collaborative effort. Wait. Uh, oh, we were literally season crooks already, eh? Yes. Don't know what I was worried about then. <laughs> I was about to say anyway, we were literally wanted in the And your fireworks are ready, so just go pick them up from my house whenever you and want. And it's not like we're gonna have to there, fight the raid and motherfucking shogun ra later on. Oh, don't worry about paying anything. Third sis would be sure to scold me if she found out I'd taken Mora from the Naganoharas. Yeah. Oh, uh, let me explain this one. It's a story my pops told me. There used to be a thriving merchant guild in Inazuma. It got really prosperous. At one point, there were a dozen or so kids born around the same time to the families of the guild. They all grew up together, each of them learning their respective family's business. They were a tightly knit group of friends. 
But eventually, they all grew up and decided they each wanted to go into business themselves. Mm -hmm. It was inevitable that business would send them all to different corners of the world, and that they'd have far less opportunity to see each other in the future. That's right. Just before we went our separate ways, the eldest of the group suggested that we should all go watch some fireworks together one last time. <laughs> they were all very ambitious types, and each had their own knack for doing business. One by one, they left, until Koichi was the only one of them remaining in Inazuma. Hmm. After that, he hardly saw them. But whenever one of them did come back to visit, fireworks would always be involved. Yeah. No matter how close you and your friends are, there's always going to be s some distance after being separated for a long time. But as soon as the fireworks lit up the sky, it'd instantly take us right back to our childhood, and we'd be chatting away like in the old days. Damn. To us, those memories are eternal. Oh, so this is what you meant when you were talking about commemorating things. Yep, that's exactly right. That's why I can't let people down when they're counting on me for their fireworks. Anyway, I need to go update Sakujiro. See you, Koichi. Thanks for I actually really out. love her glove. I just noticed yeah, how like, detailed it is. I don't want to get caught red-handed. Huh. Okay, story time. So, whenever Koichi brings one of his friends from the trade association to see me, they always mention how they used to play with me when I was a kid, or held me once as a baby, or something. But there are so many of them in that friendship group, and I don't remember anything from that age anyway. So, I uh, never have a clue who they are. Damn. One time, he shows up with another one of his friends, and the friend asks me if I remembered him. So I'm like, yes, I do! You held me once when I was just a baby! Koichi just bursts out laughing and says, Actually, this is one of his carpenter friends. Turns out, he's a lot younger than he looks. Just a few years older than me. Oh! I went bright red and must have apologized like a million times. Well, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, she's always full of life. <laughs> That's my... Oh. Whoops. That was actually convincing. Is it ready and waiting? I'll mark the location for you on the map. Before you leave, I recommend that you pack some food and water. You can never be too prepared. Uh. After how much effort it took to get back in, it's hard to convince myself to leave again. Especially when I'll be going up against the stormy ocean on a tiny little boat. My prospects. We have a boat. You can just hop in. We'll drive you. Well, they won't look much better if you get caught by the Terrio Commission. I'm afraid that sooner or later they are going to find you here. Time is starting to run out. I'm sorry. I'll make sure to get out of here before they come. I promise I won't cause you and your family any more trouble. I didn't mean it like that. If we ever ran into any problems, I'm sure I'd figure something out. But if the Tenryo Commission does catch up to you, they make a run for the boat. Okay, I won't let them catch me. But... <sighs> no, I guess this whole trip was a waste Oh, of gotcha. Why did you want to come back to Inazuma anyway? Is there something you wanted to do? I didn't used to like this place at all. Okay. That's why I left. But looking back on things now... I was really just running away from Okay, so it's the, uh, okay. I just and looked up I what region is next. That, I, I don't know how to say this. it, and I don't want to butcher it. I couldn't stop thinking about the but people and the, uh, the things left behind. So uh, I... Archons. Ah, oh, forget it. What does it matter now? It, and technically, she's the youngest. Anyway. So it's gonna be interesting I to see her as the, uh, Archon. I wanted to make up for all my regrets, but instead, I found myself in the situation I'm in now. What a pity. Talk to us about it. Maybe we could... <laughs> if only there was no Sakoku decree, huh? Damn. Anyway, uh, don't worry. We're not going to bother that you That was about loud. It. We'll keep trying to buy you as much time as possible until you reach your final decision. The Tenryo Commission... Alright, time to go cut if someone. If they weren't so overzealous, there might be a way. Oh, that's right. That elderly couple, old customers of ours, their son's in the Tenryo Commission, isn't he? Yeah, quite high up as well. That's it. I'll go talk to them. 
Maybe they can do something. On the little cigarettes, um, head nod! Are you sure they won't just report me instead? Oh, don't worry about that. They're really nice people. I know them well. They won't cause us any issues. Mm. All right. You should get back indoors, Saku. Okay, let's go. Wait. Hang on. What about the fireworks? All those material pots? Pots? No, never mind. <gasps> I know. I'll write him a note telling him to sort out the fireworks. Uh. Why did you cut Paimon off earlier? Because what he needs isn't an answer. Just time. Oh yeah, and it's back in the thing is like I love Paimon. <gasps> Fox! Yeah, no, Wayward, if you were in Gungeon Impact, you a hundred fucking percent would live here. Oh shit, that's only two of them. Right here. Move! Access denied. Come on, focus. I was about to say, um, how did Ganyu not get just one down? It's fine, I'll get it back really quickly. Alright. <laughs> okay, yeah, I thought a chest opened up. There we go. Well, if it isn't Yoi Mia, come on in, dear. Come and take a seat. Are these two your friends? I was about to say, haven't we been here already? Didn't we literally talk yes, to this? They're travelers from afar. Outsiders have a very difficult time getting into Inazuma nowadays. Uh, we really do. Indeed, these are unprecedented times. But seeing as they came all this way, we locals should give them a warm welcome. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, I brought the fireworks that you ordered. Oh, fireworks? thank you, dear. Your family is so good to us every year. First your father, yeah. and now you. I wonder if I'll still be around to see the next hair of Naganahara fireworks. Of course you will. You're both in great health. Don't say things like that. It's bad luck. <sighs> we aren't as young as we once were, though. The body knows it. Damn, it used to, to be that I could spend quiet. all day oh. working the land, carrying water back and forth. But now, even a moment of light work leaves me That's with annoying. all sorts of aches and pains. I wanted to do some weeding yesterday, but as soon as I bent down to get started, I suddenly felt that if I went any further, I wouldn't be able to get back up again. Mm. No worries. Say no more. We'll handle it. No, no, no. We can't be putting you to work when you're a guest in our home. I'll just go fetch the tea and some snacks, and then we'll continue our conversation. It's fine. It's not like it's the first time I've helped you with chores. I just haven't had much time recently with the fireworks show coming up. 
But once that's out of the way, I'll be sure to come by more often. Oh, I, I love no her. no trouble, really. We don't mind helping. I love oh, her, but she's, like, really low on my list of, like, characters kids. I want to pull for. As for mine, compared to, like, other he's people. all grown up now. Hasn't found anyone yet. She's not, like, and the he very bottom. Visit very often. Uh, if you're quite sure it's no trouble, But, like, then compared to others, she pretty much is. I have some pickled radish here. Would you mind delivering it to Sataru on the other side of the village? I got you. Hair just sure. went in my mouth. It won't take us a moment. The old folks aren't very mobile, so come on. Let's help them out. We'll get rid of the weeds first, and then deliver the pickled radish. I, mm, I was, like, looking at my camera. And apparently... Oh, no. All of them. Oh. Yeah, you got it. And that should just about do it. Sotaru is on the other side of the village. Let's go see him now. There he is. Bates is. There's a fish. I literally got it. Huh. Hey, Sotaru. How have you been? Keeping well? Yeah, same as usual. Oh, there's like multiple Not bruises on my my bag. You're looking full of life, as always. All thanks to the support of our loyal customers, the family business just keeps getting better and better. We sold some fireworks to Liu at a while back, and word is they were a real hit. So it looks like we'll be getting more business from over there in the future. Yeah, because the lanterns are right. That must mean a lot more work for you, though. Are you sure you and Mr. Ryunosuke can manage? If it gets too much, I don't forget, you can always ask me for help, hmm? We should be fine. I think we can cope. Oh, yeah. Um, this is some pickled radish from Mrs. Imatani. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I never used to be a fan of pickled radish, would you believe? But then I'd try some of Mrs. Imatani's homemade stuff and I couldn't get I enough I just don't like pickles, it's man. Family I can't. Now. Speaking of your family, how's everyone doing? They're doing well. We have the occasional heated argument, but I guess that's every family ever. Actually, Being close to family is page. better than never getting to see Shit. them. Even if it does mean putting up with some conflict. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Imatani seem to have a great relationship. But still, they must get lonely with their child never visiting. Hmm, huh, they didn't seem that way to me. I think they're just used to it. You make a good point, though. I should drop by more often in the future. That way, they won't get so bored. Oh, I'm sure they'd love that. As would all of us in Konda Village. You're always welcome here. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> now that we finished all the chores, it's Give me one time second. to talk to Imitani's okay. Sakujiro. I looked at my screen and I found out my alerts were under my game capture because I realized I haven't seen them. So give me like one second to check that for everything else. Nope, it was just this one. Cool. Okay. Cool. I almost fell into the water. One day, I'll be as great as Ryuji. Yeah, I, there's there's some characters that in this game quick. that like I don't like their playstyle. Uh, young people are so handy. Pi Pi more people have like the biggest energy, example is Diana. I really don't like playing wisdom. as her. Each have their strengths. Speaking of youth, do you know what? It's been fifty years this year. Hmm? Oh, so it has. Goodness, how the time flies. You barely notice as the years go by, but then suddenly, 50 years have passed. 
50 years since what? Some important day? <laughs> well, if you must know, it was 50 years ago, back in the days when this young lady was still trying to win me over, that... That's actually, that's kind of oh, nice. stop trying to impress them. <laughs> we both know you were the one who was hopelessly smitten and desperately trying to win my affection. I'm replacing my gum because it got really well, gross. Well, maybe you're right. <laughs> Fifty years ago, I proposed to my wife at the Naganahara fireworks show. We've Hello. been together ever since. Mm, to tell the truth, I was still a little uncertain. I wasn't sure what I was doing when I walked into the Naganahara's shop and ordered my firework. Even as it was rising up into the sky, uh, I still had no clue what I was going to say. But then it exploded, the sky lit up, I looked back at her and saw her eyes twinkling in the light of the fireworks. Mm. Before I knew what was happening, apparently, I'd already said it. And, well, she'd said yes. Fifty years. In some ways, it's a long time. In others, it's no time at all. Really, it's just a number. But fifty years of being together? Now that is something worth commemorating. I had no idea it was your 50th anniversary. If I'd known, I would have made some extra fancy fireworks just for you. Oh no, it's quite all right. We always set off the same firework every year. It wouldn't be the same without That's it. That's so sweet. Damn Seeing it. that firework go off takes us right back to those days. Even at this age. We still look back with not a single regret. Ah, oh, what a great relationship they have. <laughs> my headphones was like us, stuck though. at the bottom of my mic. Yoimiya, aren't you busy with the fireworks show coming up? Was there something you needed to discuss? Yeah, um, it's a difficult thing to talk about, but here goes. Mm. Mm, Sakujiro. So he came back. Huh? You know him? He was our boy's best friend when they were young. <sighs> they were inseparable. They They're saying that he together, came back, which makes me wondering, how the fuck other, did he get back to the island? Went everywhere together. If there's a storm. But one day, they had a terrible argument. Sakujiro seemed to feel that Inazuma was too peaceful and wanted to see what the outside world was like. But our Keisuke took after his father and mother. He felt that there was nothing wrong at all with being peaceful. There is no war in Ba Sing Sing. children are like. And they get terribly worked up about these sorts of things. In the end, Sakujiro stormed off and that was that. I see. Damn. Keisuke said nothing to me or my wife about the fight. We could sense that he was very hurt by it, but he didn't want to talk with us about how he was really feeling. Eventually, whether out of pent-up anger or for some other reason, he joined the Tenryo Commission. He rarely comes <laughs> home anymore. If it was anything else, I could <laughs> talk to Keisuke. And I'm sure he'd be willing to help. But since it's Sakujiro, I don't feel there's any way we can get involved. What a strange coincidence! Who'd have thought? I understand now. When I asked Sakujiro why he came back, he just said because of past mistakes and wasn't willing to elaborate. He and wants I to make amends! I don't understand why he can't decide what to do. Two best buddies in childhood. One grows up to join the Tenryo Commission, the other grows up to join the Tenryo Commission's most wanted list. Well, oh, that worries. reminds me if of like, the case, then um, never mind. there's a we photo, I forgot the name of it, uh, but it's there's two no friends during World War II, this and they're both like meeting on opposite Sakajiro sides. One of them was, one of them was working, themselves. uh, one of them was a Nazi, yes. other and was like a friend. <sighs> It'd be so nice if they could go back to the way things it's were. A, it's a disturbing picture because, like, you can tell there's so much raw emotion, years, but I think it's just so interesting. They ought to let go of their grudges. As, like, this reminds me, okay, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> well, can't say we didn't try. 
I'll let Sakajiro know after we get back. Yes, I just try to push the child. I don't have a pyro character. Yeah. Never mind. I feel like it, I know it would be like a lot more easier just to like teleport everywhere, but it also feels nice just like walking around. Is that a chest? No, but these are seagrass, which I'm assuming I need for cocoa meat. Because I've not looked up her ascension materials, I looked up Raiden's. Something bad's happened. Some people from the Tinryo Commission came by. Oh no. Huh? Why? Do they know? Pops, are you alright? They didn't do anything to you, did they? I told them the show was starting soon and the place was filled with fireworks, so they shouldn't go in because it's a fire hazard. Smart. But they didn't listen. It seemed like they knew Sakujiro was inside. Who the fuck ratted Luckily, us out? Sakujiro heard them coming in time and managed to escape through the window. The Tenryo Commission wasn't able to capture him. I'm gonna have to fight them, don't, oh, aren't this we? This is bad news. I don't think Sakujiro had enough time to make his mind up. Mm. Pops, did you see where he went? Oh, the Tenryo Commission will definitely be chasing after him. Did you Good capture point. any of the names? Names? We need names! Suddenly showing up like this, surely it must be Keisuke's doing. Yeah. The commission wouldn't normally cause this big of a fuss over a stowaway. Oh, sorry, my ears are no good. And I didn't get mm. a good look at them either. If you're wondering which way they went, they left the city. Oh? I wish I'd caught their names. As it happens, I did. Hey, yo. I was getting some ore from my friend's place and happened to bump into them on the way over. I think their leader's name was Keisuke, just like you said. Just as I thought. Thanks. Ah, fuck. We fucking fate now. If Sakujiro still hasn't made up his mind, those two running into each other won't solve anything. And even worse, there'll be no coming back from it for Sakujiro. Yep. We can't let that happen. Come with me. Let's track them down. Gina yokai ready yet? <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Ryunosuke is making them right now. You can go collect them from my house later. Uh, aren't you gonna play with us, Yoimiya? I'm sorry. I have something important to do right now. I'll be back later on. But I'll bring you guys some candy next time. The extra sweet candy. The one you guys love. Uh -huh. Yeah, hey, we're gonna get candy. Woohoo! Ah, 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 ah. Candy! Whoa! Also, I wanted to ask you guys something. Uh, did you see a bunch of scary looking men come by here at all? Yep, we did. It looked like they were chasing someone. Are they trying to catch a monster too? Nope. No, don't worry. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Be good kids and stay out of trouble, all right? Stay in the city for now, and I'll come play with you after the fireworks start. We will. We'll be on our best behavior, especially for you, Yoimiya. Hmm. It looks like this is the right way. Let's keep going. 
If Sakajiro still hasn't made up his mind, I guess I'll have to step in. Look! There are people from the Tenryu Commission over there! It must be them! Sorry, official business. I can't let you pass. Bunk. Sakujiro and Keisuke are up ahead, right? We need to talk to them about something. We're gonna have to fight them. Didn't you hear me? You're not getting past. Ugh, what a nuisance! Well, you've only got yourself to blame! Oh, I get to use her! The fuse is lit! Okay, cool. Time for a show. I must can I see what she has on her? I fucking can. Holy shit. Oh shit, my bad. I literally meant to hit Q. Okay, I do- you impede the work of the Tenryo I like her play style. But she's still like- for your actions. There is nowhere you can escape justice. Not even at the edges of the world. Huh. Again. Look at that. The one with the loudest mouth had the fastest feet. Yeah. We can't waste any more she's time. She's still like pretty guys. like out of all the they should be just ahead. Out of all the five stars, she's pretty she's incredibly low on my list. Hello. There's a cat in my room. Oh shit! <laughs> but like she's up there and like the Your boat. Your skills with the sword have stagnated, Sakura. But she's Jiro. like up there on the bo boat. You should user. have known that you stood no chance against but me. But Gandhi's still my favorite. I'm just gonna. You never imagined I'd fall into your hands. I. <laughs> if this is to be my fate. I accept it. I have nothing else to say. No. But your return says that you finally came around to my point of view. Whatever you say. <laughs> you will return with me to the Tenryo Commission to await your sentencing. Oh, this hurts. The one who made this boat will also be punished. Oh, shit. Wait! It doesn't have to end like this. Don't you have anything else to say to one another? Hey, I know you. You're Naganahara's girl, who makes the fireworks. <laughs> I know you like to get involved in other people's business. Hey! Stay out of this. Fuck off! It does not concern you. It's okay, Yoimiya. The past is the past. I'm pretty sure this fucking concerns me. Why did you me? risk life and limb to get yourself back into Inazuma? And why were you so reluctant to leave after you got here? I'll tell you why. This is why. This is the chance you've been waiting for. To talk everything through. I have nothing to say to him. He's a criminal. I Ow. work for the Tenryo Commission. There is never any room for discussion. Out of respect for the friendship we once had, I gave him a chance to fight for his freedom. But his skills with the sword are as disappointing now as they ever were. What are you talking about? Damn. Who do you think you're kidding? You left all your subordinates back there to guard the road, making sure no one else followed you here. Seems to me like you were hoping for a chance to talk. 
I can see it in your faces. You both have so much to say. And you're just gonna choose to keep it all inside? Tuh. Don't flatter yourself. What would you know? Yoimiya, leave it. I feel like I know Yoimiya's voice It was just my actress. wishful thinking. Oh, well, I won't leave it. I will not stand by and watch when you haven't even done anything. Keisuke, you seem to like settling Ironically, things Ironically, I have her color palette so and my LED let's lights. let's do it your way. I challenge you to a duel. If I win, then you need to say everything that's in your heart. No more running from your feelings. Oh, fuck me. And the same goes for you, Sakujiro. If I win, you will tell Keisuke exactly why you came back, no matter what the consequences are. You have to tell him everything. If you don't say anything now, you may never have another chance. And if you lose? I go to jail. Then I'll admit to collaborating with Sakujiro and accept the Tenryo Commission's punishment. Again, and if she oh, did yeah. that, she's going to jail. I accept. Let's settle this with a duel. Sir, we're here to back you up. Ah! Back up? Those are supposed to be one on one. All right, that's it. Let's help you and Mia. We can't let her fight them all alone. I'm stuck on the boat. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, they're healing. Oh, what the fuck? Again, I'm so used to Ganyu's playstyle. There we go. No, I'm going directly for him now. Too strong. We need more men. Stand down. W what? I thought I told you to stay away. Now stand down. Y yes, sir. Sorry. Young lady, you are just as obstinate as Sakujiro was back then. Why were you so convinced that we had things to say to each other? Because Sakujiro may not have told me about you when he came back, but he did. Yeah, I like I like her play a saw for her bow, so she's then definitely like up top of one of the five star bow you users. When you were younger. Once I'd heard the story, I'm literally making I a realized that the fire meant now. something special to you both, and that's why I simply refuse to believe that you have nothing to say to each other. Nobody sets off a firework to feel lonely, do they? Hmm. The reason I came back is that. I felt lost. I just misspelled the it list. It wasn't that I changed my mind. I just your streamers felt that what I'd done in the past was to try to escape from reality. I saw the freedom of Mondstadt, the contracts of Liyue, the wisdom of Sumeru, and the justice of Fontaine. It all left a deep impression on me. I was glad that I'd left Inazuma, but then I happened to hear about the Sokoku Decree. I was an escapee, and I was proud of that. What I should have tried to do is take the good things from the outside world and bring them back home. So that's why you came back? Out of your naive hope of changing the way things are here? No, I let go of all those delusions of grandeur. I just felt that... I never should have run away like that. <sighs> After all, you never ran away. Huh? Damn. I don't know about you, but life hasn't been easy for me. 
But I just had to come back and visit. It was like fate was calling me, and I couldn't ignore it any longer. Life isn't easy for anyone. I truly worship the Raiden Shogun. Hey, Ariel, her ideas 11. were my personal creed, I I and I desired nothing so more than to see her well done. so much more satisfying to look at, done. even though it's a fucking odd number. But now, my role is to punish violators of the Sakoku decree. I'm not how to spell their name at the moment, so... people's visions. It's not what I signed up for when I joined the Tenryo Commission. I do wonder, am I really doing the right thing? I probably just misspelled her name, but once it, like, pops up, I'll... The boat is yours. Ah. Huh? I couldn't make you stay in Inazuma, but that doesn't mean I want to keep you here by force. Uh, what will you say to the higher-ups? Don't worry about that. I'll handle it. If you want to come back, I hear the process of returning to Inazuma from the outside world is long and complicated, but it can be done. I will lend you my help, but until then, you'll have to wait. And don't kick the bucket on the way out. Don't worry, Keisuke. We've literally come to the conclusion. Any chance we can watch the fireworks together? That out of that Maybe next out of everyone, fucking a wayward is from Inazuma. I'll be demoted for sure. It's not like me to give in to childish sentiment like this. It's the one that Sakujiro planned on using for his escape. I asked Yoshitaka and the others to transport it here, citing the temporary contraband storage clause. Hmm. Forcing Sakujiro to this spot was also something I had planned all along. Damn. It's just like you said, Yoimiya. Even though I hadn't fully made up my mind, my actions betrayed my intent. But I think you did the right thing. And look, now you've managed to resolve I really the grievance in your I really just missed it an eye in her name. It. I almost spelled it right. I understand now. Thank you. I didn't know you were quite so perceptive. You saw right into what I was thinking. <laughs> That's only because I know your parents so well. They're both really nice people, so I didn't think the apple would fall too far from the tree. I had heard there was a new Nagano Hara running things these days. A little loud and reckless, maybe, but <laughs> you live up to the family name. By the way, Nagano Hara fireworks can reproduce the firework that the two of us set off back then, right? Would you be able to make one for me? Sorry, no can do. Without the slipper reference, I can't make the same one again. And I'm afraid Sakajiro is the one with the slip. Ah, I see. I'm just gonna change it to now. overall characters. <laughs> Don't get too down just yet, though. I mentioned that Sakujiro ordered a firework from me, didn't I? Because I'm in. I can't make another one, but I'm guessing Sakajiro probably won't be needing his. Because I, I don't mind catalyst users away, because again, so I'm like getting better with them. But fuck Claymore characters, I will never Thank use them, so they're gonna be at like the smack no bottom of my list. And don't miss out on the start of the fireworks show. Yoimiya, the way you took command of that whole situation was amazing. What can I say? I like to talk. I'm a strong believer in the power of words. If you're not willing to communicate, then the problem just sits there. If you just keep staring at it without doing anything, eventually you'll watch every last opportunity to resolve it slip away before your eyes. Sakujiro and Keisuke can't turn back the clock in their relationship, but that's no reason to live with remorse. Anyway, follow me. I'll bring you to the perfect place to watch the fireworks. Alright, my literal, my my literal thing fireworks, is like the general that, that has you. in parentheses with banners slash leaks. So like Shin Hu and Shang Li are going to be at the bottom. Because like they're going to take fucking forever to come back out. Alright, cool, 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 cool! Hippity hoppity, she has pretty privileges. Excuse me. I'll swim a little bit. I'm probably gonna go downstairs and like get some food. I can hear my dad yelling at the cats. Oh, I wish you can look at that and like actually see the. <laughs> yep. 
I was about to say, let me guess, there's gonna be like a small time skip. Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna fucking hurt! This is so pretty to look at. Oh, it's... Case K. So I feel like I'm back at, at like the Lantern Riot Festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she's she's definitely in like my my bow These using. Fireworks. What do they mean to you? That was amazing. It was so beautiful I could weep. Uh, I didn't actually cry though, right? I just feel a bit misty eyed. Oh, uh, remember that big one that went up first? The gold one? Mm -hmm. That's the one I had Pops make for you. Oh, Paimon saw it! It was one of the best ones! They won't forget that anytime soon! <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear! I was hoping it would leave a deep impression on you guys. It honestly did. No matter where your journey takes you, and no matter what hardships might lie ahead, I hope you'll always be able to look back fondly on the fireworks you saw tonight. I believe that as time goes by, this firework will only grow brighter and more beautiful in your heart. Oh, and also, you're technically my customers now. Here, this is your paper slip. If you oh, ever yeah. want to see that golden firework again, just come and see me. Thank you for your time. You know, Yoimiya, you seem to turn into a completely different person during the fireworks. You were so quiet, and it was like you couldn't hear anything at all. Because it's her pa- it's... Oh, I can hear you. I just have a habit of being yeah. silent while I'm watching fireworks. It's like with some people, they get really quiet when they do their passion. Quietly watching something you made with your own hands rise into the sky? Feels like a sacred ceremony. Yeah, to so me. if you ever catch me actually you playing video games and I'm not streaming, I'm dead right? quiet. And I usually don't have like my headphones and I usually am not listening to you. I have other music playing. Well, I basically pulled an alt like an alt dream stream for and that. And his friend, Third Sis, fireworks commemorate friendship. Alright, so for my generals, I have Raiden Shogun, Fukumi, Ayato, and then I put and her brothers because I keep forgetting what the fuck his name is. <laughs> to be honest, uh, even though I've thought about it countless times before, I still haven't found an answer. Seriously? Huh. Paimon was expecting something deep and philosophical. Well, no one's ever asked me this before, so I've never really settled on an answer. Aww. It was by chance that I happened to be born into the Naganohara family, so it was by chance that I ended up learning this craft from my pops. It's also by chance that I've met so many people, learned so many things, and discovered that people associate watching fireworks with the things that are most precious to them. Fireworks that disappear in a flash of light are probably the furthest thing away from the eternity that our shogun desires. But people's feelings do disappear, I was, I'm... and it's those feelings that give fireworks their purpose. If nobody wanted to watch you would, fireworks, you would be amazed that like the exist. shogun allows this type of shit. Also, consider this: you have to have the Naganoharas because so many people are emotionally invested in the existence of fireworks. Also, yeah. If we didn't exist, their wishes would go unfulfilled, wouldn't they? So the, the shogun's keeping people really them alive, so there's no fucking like very often. riots. But I'm proud that I was born into the Naganohara family and have the chance to make so many pretty fireworks. I fucking love her. What? Inazuma is not such a bad place. Paimon's having a pretty good time. But we should... On with the story.
<sighs> Traveling to other worlds is all that anyone seems to be writing about these days. <laughs> Goodness knows what they find so disappointing about their own world. Are you taking me? Haha. <laughs> -ha. Oh, fuck. Go on, open it up. Show me what's inside. We'll just do this. We'll just fucking go by. Oh, fucking Bennett's coming out. Dog. Hello. Mahoya, let me pet the. Mahoya, let me pet the fucking dog. someone aren't we I buddy is playing his ventriloquist game again huh it Toma? Toma! I'm assuming Toma got caught hey, you can come out now I'm on seeing you already huh. Not a peek. Uh, so where the heck is he then <laughs> It's, I'm assuming. Huh. What's got Taro Maru so worked up today? He's always such a good boy. I'm assuming Toma was caught. Hello. Have either of you seen Toma? Oh, they- No, we thought he'd be with you. Why? I said that as a joke. I- And it's as I feared. On the way here, I heard that Toma had been taken away by the Tango I Commission. I said that as a joke. I have not paid attention to Uma's- I whether it was true, so I came right here. The fact that he hasn't arrived here as we again, I made that as a joke. I didn't know. Th I don't. I have not looked into the like Shogun this quest. Is a vision hunt ceremony at the statue of the omnipresent god today. Oh shit! To mark the one hundredth vision ceased under the decree. It's Thomas. And the one hundredth vision bearer in question, the one who will have their vision seized, I fear. His Hold up a second. So the ceremony that Thomas said the Tenryo Commission were busy preparing for. This is a, this is a tough of situation. I believe so. I also said the that I'm a The Tenryo Commission see the ceremony as a milestone. With the 100th vision, they wish to mark the success of the vision hunt decree to date. This cannot happen. I must go and rescue him. Nah, because that will take her vision. Yeah. Like Shut up, not, phone. You represent the whole Yashiro Commission. So if you go and pull a stunt like that, you're basically declaring you and the Raiden Shogun are enemies now, right? And by doing it so publicly, you might be implicating a lot of other people from the Yashiro Commission, too. There is no other option. I must act with haste. The ceremony is about to begin. I will not abandon Toma like this. You can send in the person my who doesn't have... <laughs> To think that not, but because uh... again they could also like switch him with her taking her vision. Okay, I'll. Don't worry, Ayaka. A friend. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. And we'll come back in no time.
Oh shit. Oh shit! Hi! <laughs> Mommy? Sorry? Mommy? Sorry? Mommy? <gasps> Surprise, bitch! But also, hi, the Raiden Shogun's really hot. Again, I can't get over that the traveler is doing this with a dull sword. Capable of using elemental energy without a vision. You are an exception. Hi. <laughs> Exceptions. The enemy of eternity. Hi, you're hot. Sorry, what? Oh shit. You will be inlaid upon this statue. There it is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fight the Rain Shogun, aren't I? Hey yo, I didn't sign up to fight the Raiden fucking Shogun. Actually, yes I did. You are that which is furthest from eternity. Exceptional. Fuck. Of course she's immune. Shit. Disappear. Oh shit. Where is she? From the land of eternity. Fucking playing hopscotch. Leave it all to me. Huh. Time to clean up. Bless fucking Noella. Again, I can't use Miko because she's fucking immune. Inferior. Fuck. I must leave no stone unturned. Oh, this is gonna be hella fucking painful. Yeah, again, she's fucking immune. Fuck! Leave it all to me. Evasion is futile. She broke her shield. Hey, yo, chief! I ain't gonna win this. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna have to do that entire cutscene all over again. Ah. Oh fuck, I really am gonna have to do that entire cutscene all over again. Hey bestie. 
This is gonna fucking suck. It is as the stars foretold. That's a fucking nice ass cup. Energy, so it's energy recharge, attack, and HP. I'm literally seeing that this is a lucky dog with crit rate. That's annoying. Is it the goblet that gives? It is. Ignore how, like, some characters have, like, different things. I don't pay attention. Hydro. I will fix it later. I, I literally might have to do this off stream. It's gonna give me the whole ass cutscene again, I forgot. Yep. Forgot about that. She's hot. So I'm not complaining, because I'm literally pulling for her tomorrow. I didn't level up Mona. Again, the Traveler is doing this with a dull sword. The traveler is doing this. Capable of using elemental energy without a vision. Hi, you're hot. What? <laughs> you are an exception, it appears. Exceptions. I never. I didn't see that she was blocking. The eternity. <laughs> Again, Dulcor. Will be inlaid upon this statue. Yeah, that's gonna happen because you're level 47 and I'm only level 20 and 40. Actually, no, no, well, it's fit. Again, and you expect me to be here in a daily fucking boss, you're wrong. Oh shit, there's no. Paimon's not here either. Hi, you're hot. What? You are that which is furthest from eternity. Exceptional. Ah! 
Yeah. I must leave no stone unturned. Holy shit, she breaks the shield. Strike dead. Shadows of fate. You are an enemy that requires special attention. Yeah! My Fuck. contract goes unfulfilled. I hate that she fucking moves around so much! Leave it all to me. I fucking move so hard my desk moved with me. Prepared in fear. Hey, kindly, uh, fuck off. I will mold you into the foundations of eternity. Fuck. Yeah, I was about to say, I did not level her up at all. Damn it. Fuck. And it looks like she doesn't. You are an enemy that requires special attention. I'm just a fucking menace. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do this on stream. Hi, you don't see me. Yeah, I'm not doing any damage to her. Strike dead. Rex Lapis. I am sorry. Fuck. Damn. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing this on the stream. Fuck this fight. <laughs> I fucking hit the wrong thing. Yeah, this is back in the thing that I. I also said this a while ago. I was gonna switch out the traveler's weapon. Okay, that's just a bunch of voiceover shit. Yeah. Divination is about precisely foretelling one's written destiny. Wait, hold it. Do I have the same? I have the same birthday as a fucking traveler! <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Holy shit, I have, the I have the same birthday as a traveler! What the fuck? Huh! 
Interesting. I'm doing that fight tomorrow. Over embellishing that fate only leads to misconception. Yeah. Fuck this fight. <laughs> Jack Guy Gone, welcome. Definitely dead. What if she didn't go by she? What if they went by they? Which is my pronouns? Ha ha ha. I want to stab the Raiden Shogun. Welcome. Fuck that fight. I hate it. This, <laughs> this is my daily reminder to fucking level up my characters. <laughs> I'm literally pulling for the Raiden Shogun tomorrow, too. So. <gasps> Wait, I can get Kokomi tomorrow as well. Yeah, I fixed it. Jackie, Kai, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, fuck this fight. If you think I'm doing her weekly boss fight, you're fucking wrong. I hate it. Who the fuck is live? <laughs> I love my fucking characters. I'm a dumb- <laughs> See, I would if I didn't despise all the fucking bosses. But yeah, no, that's gonna be tomorrow. That's gonna be a tomorrow activity. I'm not gonna do my dailies, because one of my dailies pissed me off too much, because I hate fucking Albert. Yeah, no, it's actually- It's hilarious that tomorrow the Raiden Shogun's banners drop. So I'm gonna pull for her. No one fun is live. Or like, none of my friends are live. What the fuck? No, it fucking sneeze sags live. I need some entertainment in my life. You got Mona off of something. <laughs> I lost my 50-50 to make over to Mona. I have literally lost two 50-50s out of three. Computer, don't piss me off today. Thank you. I don't know what that is. The the fifty fifty is when you do a wish and someone fight and look at the ass. <laughs> yes, but no. Uh, the fifty fifty is during the wish system where, uh, if you're pulling for like a character and you get a five star, that's not that character. Uh, the next time you do, you're guaranteed to get that five star. I lost, I lost Ghani's 50-50 gene and I lost Miko's Timona. Alright. We rain and sneak. Oh, wow, that's a fast-ass command. Yeah, I will be streaming tomorrow where I will be pulling for the Raiden Shogun, the one bitch who just murdered me how many times? <laughs> So yeah, well, and then depending on how that goes, we might also pull for Coke, uh, Kokomi, and then I don't know what the fuck I'll do after that. Alright, bye.